good. It's not glamorous whatsoever. It's dirty, it's hot, and it's a lot of work. For 24 years, City of Miami firefighter, paramedic, TRT specialist, and SWAT medic Julie Paddleford Jensen has worked the gritty streets of Miami. She admits it's tough, but satisfying. It fulfills your passions in a lot of ways that other jobs cannot. She's one of only 39 women of the 660 member force. Why so few women? Department leaders acknowledge the imbalance, but emphasize ongoing recruitment efforts are in place. However, female fire veterans caution, it's no cakewalk. It's very competitive now, much more competitive than what it used to be. Prepare yourself physically for this type of demanding job. So what does it really take, especially for women, to make the cut? Lieutenant Time again put me through the must-pass physical agility test three minutes on the stair climber wearing a 50 pound vest. This represents carrying all of your gear plus your self-contained breathing apparatus. Next, 21 seconds to complete a hose pull. As it starts feeling heavy, you want to lean forward. If it's for real, lives could be on the line. Then, using an eight pound sledgehammer to move a metal block five feet. This is simulating forcible entry or ventilation. Technique. That is tough. Next, another hose drag exercise. It's much more challenging for women just, you know, due to the fact that they are not, in most cases, as physically strong as men. There's more. Up four flights of stairs carrying 35 pounds of hose, then hoisting another hose up the structure. These straps here are going to simulate. Finally, I drag a 165 pound body to safety. Holy crap, this is heavy. Sometimes rescue means tight spaces. This tests for claustrophobia. And for recruit hopefuls, training includes going into real fire. Male or female, all of the hours of training and preparation, this is what it all comes down to. Mental and physical strength required for both sexes, perhaps a bit more for women. However, the rewards, exactly the same. You go home some days knowing that you made a difference because you were at work that day somebody lived.